Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. I'm really feeling this episode. Episode 2 of Jugoku Raku opens up so much more strongly than episode 1. This covers Sagiri's thought process behind her beheadings. I wish this scene was longer, which is a complaint that I had with Ascetic Blaze in the last episode, but eh, it's okay. At least it was done well. But Hell's Paradise has many iconic scenes, especially in like the first half of the manga. So I'm hoping Mappa does a good job of adapting these scenes and even drawing them out when necessary. And while I still feel that Gabi Maru is way too shonen for this series, I think Sagiri is done very well. You get much more backstory about her in this episode. And you figure out like why she wants to be an executioner. The scene with all of the hands groping Sigiri. That was an exceptional scene. I thought that it should again have been longer. But it was a good scene. It can be awkward to have two leads in a series that both have cold calculated exteriors. But at the same time Sigiri has a lot of warmth to her. And the anime is really showcasing that with her hesitation when it comes to beheading criminals. To finally being able to put aside that reluctance and effortlessly do her job. She's such a great female lead. Sagiri is one of my favorite characters actually in manga and I'm happy to see Mappa doing a good job with her in the anime. Her voice actress is also perfect. It's exactly what I thought. The battle between the prisoners was okay and only okay. The animation in the second episode was overall a lot better than the first episode. I don't know why that is, but I still see moments where it just looks very static and they're not really moving a lot. I, I, I've mentioned this already, uh, the Seth MacFarlane school of animation, only the character that is speaking is moving and everyone else just, just kind of looks at them. I'm seeing way more anime get away with that than ever before and it doesn't make sense to me because when you consider the amount of time that goes into making an anime nowadays compared to before, you would imagine studios would add some extra effort into scenes like this because the shogun talking, examining the prisoners as they kill one another, that should have been a much more gloomy scene but in order to have that come off well, you have to have him animated, you have to see him like seething and easing in to all of the action. You know, and you didn't really see that. You didn't see much color variation either. It wasn't until you got to Gabi Maru's murder rampage is when you started seeing more fluid motion with the characters. The animation stepped up a little bit. Overall, like I said, episode two looks a lot better than episode one. I'm really hoping that the rest of this season has more fluid action. I'm, I'm hoping like even conversations, there, there's more interaction with characters. You see more turning and shifting. Attack on Titan does that really well. That's why you you want to see supporting characters talk amongst one another for extended periods of time. And believe me, Hell's Paradise is going to have a lot of exposition, a lot of talking. So I'm really hoping that MAPA has done well with uh, static scenes and conversational scenes when it comes to animating them. The episode closed off great though. Gabi Maru's murder rampage was excellent. I again wish it was longer, but to see him soaked in blood standing in water while the sun sets upon him, that was a beautifully animated scene. I just wish they held the camera on Gabi Maru for a bit longer. I like Jugoku Raku. I do worry though about the direction of the production overall. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any anime recommendations, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll probably check it out.